More than two weeks after the historic flooding, the Beartooth Pass remains closed on the Montana side. But tonight we're getting a clearer picture of just how long it might be until travelers get back on the iconic road, with officials believing it could be another week to 10 days before it's open. Our David J went up there today, as did Montana's governor, and has the story. Several spots along the Beartooth Highway that have been damaged, and they tell us any road damage can be repaired. Governor Gianforte came out to honor one of the contractors that it's broken here in Carbon County and also other parts of Montana. Crews repair part of the Beartooth Highway. Rock Creek flooding caused damage to asphalt in five places and to the slopes holding up the road in three places. When the water from the river got up above the riprap, it just washed the road out. So repairs, it, any, any road could be repaired. Of course, cost is an issue. But Dean Rabine, Riverside Contracting Project Superintendent, says a crew of six operators and nine truck drivers have been working on the Beartooth Highway, which could be fixed and reopened in the next couple of weeks. The biggest one, there's a lot of depth to it. It's, it's a pretty good cut. A lot of material was removed. That one could take a little bit of effort. Workers have taken the riprap to fill in areas damaged by flooding in other areas in Montana, including Highway 89 getting to Gardner. And truly, it saved lives. Governor Greg Gianforte gave the Spirit of Montana commendation to Riverside Contracting based in Billings and Missoula. They worked long shifts right through the weekends to get uh, the road in Paradise Valley opened back up. They rebuilt the road in Absorkey, and here they're working on getting the Beartooth Pass open back up. Repairing the Beartooth Highway will be important for people living and working in Red Lodge. This is the place that feeds our local economy, um, so the work getting done here and the improvements they're making and the repairs are just monumental, and they're so appreciated. Our economy thrives on people having access to the Beartooth Pass, and uh, every day that it's closed, you know, makes it harder for people. And so the fact that they're working to get this done as quickly as possible, we're, we're very grateful. The governor says the Independence Day festivities can be good for those recovering from the flooding. Montanans are resilient and celebrating the founding of this country on the 4th uh, is a great time to remember just all, how blessed we are here in this country. In Red Lodge, David J, MTN News.